Are you looking for a natural and effective way to boost your garden's soil health, fertility, and overall productivity? Look no further. Creating your own lactic acid bacteria at Lab Culture using rice and milk is a simple, cost-effective, and highly beneficial process that can transform your garden. This homemade soil bacteria solution can improve soil fertility, break down organic matter, and make nutrients more accessible to your plants. In this video, we'll take you through the easy, step-by-step -step process of creating your own Labi culture using rice and milk. You'll learn how to harness the power of beneficial microorganisms to enhance root growth, strengthen plant immunity, and boost overall productivity without the need for chemical products. Lactic acid bacteria, LAB, are a type of beneficial microorganism that play a crucial role in maintaining soil health and promoting plant growth. When applied as a natural fertilizer, LAB can improve soil fertility by breaking down organic matter and making nutrients more available to plants, suppress harmful pathogens in the soil, reducing disease in your garden, enhance root growth, giving plants better access to water and nutrients, Boost overall plant productivity and health by creating your own lab culture using rice and milk. You can reap these benefits and enjoy a thriving, sustainable garden. So, let's get started. Start with one glass of uncooked white rice. Place it in a container filled with one liter of clean water. Stir the rice thoroughly. This helps release nutrients and beneficial microorganisms from the rice into the water. The water will become murky, and this first round of rice water can be given to your plants to help improve soil conditions. After that, add fresh water again, stir the rice, and give this second round of murky water to your plants as well. For the third time, add water to the rice, stir it, and this time separate the murky water into a container. Cover the container with a cloth or a lid, but make sure it is loose enough to allow for air exchange. This is essential because the beneficial bacteria need some air to grow. Keep the container at room temperature for two to three days to allow fermentation. After this period, the rice water will have fermented and is now ready for the next step. Now add milk to the fermented rice water. Use one part milk for every 10 parts of rice water, which means adding 100 milliliters of milk to the one liter of fermented rice water. Mix it well and cover the container loosely again, allowing some air to escape. Leave it at room temperature for about three to seven days, depending on the temperature in your area. In our weather, which is around 32 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, and 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit at night. It only took three days for the mixture to start separating into solid curds and liquid whey. Once the mixture has separated, strain it to remove the solid curds, leaving behind the liquid whey. This liquid whey is now your lactic acid bacteria culture, full of beneficial lactic acid bacteria ready to boost your garden's soil health. Store the liquid in a clean container in the fridge. It can last for several months if kept refrigerated. When you're ready to use it, dilute the almost one liter of this bacteria-rich whey with about 15 liters of water. This diluted mixture can be applied directly to your plants, helping to improve the soil and encourage plant growth. If you prefer to extend the solution for a larger garden, you can mix the diluted liquid solution with some brown sugar or molasses, let it sit for 24 hours, and then dilute it further. This approach increases the volume of the solution and provides even more beneficial microorganisms to cover a bigger area. Using lactic acid bacteria in your garden has many benefits. It improves soil fertility by breaking down organic material, making nutrients more available for plants. It can also suppress harmful pathogens in the soil, which can reduce disease in your garden. The bacteria work to enhance root growth, giving plants better access to water and nutrients, leading to stronger and healthier growth overall. This natural approach is not only sustainable, but also boosts your garden's productivity while avoiding chemical fertilizers. If you found this helpful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. For more gardening tips and techniques, check out our other videos to learn how to grow a healthy garden.